Welcome to episode five of our five pack series with Fidevo in which we look at a number of tools that allow you to become a more efficient motion graphics artist inside of After Effects. In episodes one to four, we looked at Anchor Sniper, K-Bar, Declutter and Select and Set. And for episode five, we're gonna look at one of my favorites, which is labels. And as the name suggests, it does exactly that. It helps you with labeling inside of After Effects. Now, adding a label to After Effects layers isn't intrinsically a difficult task, but this plugin certainly makes the process so much more efficient. Okay, labels. $18, why would you need to use an extension for labels? And why would you even wanna use labels in the first place? Well, I think labels are quite often an overlooked aspect for efficient After Effects editing because they're not only gonna make your timeline look pretty, but more so they are there for visual identification of specific media types in your timeline. When you have something like this, which is 86 layers high, and I know it's only 15 seconds long, but once we start going into 30 seconds or so, it can get pretty difficult to spot things in your timeline. So if I wanted to make sure that everything with the sidebar, so if I was to type in sidebar here, and we've got sidebar two, sidebar three, sidebar one and five, and then just kind of give these a cyan color, what I could then do is click this and press select label group. And now I've got all of my cyan labels activated. So it's very useful in that regard, especially when you're working in a team environment. Now using the labels in After Effects, as you just noted, isn't inherently hard. We simply highlight a few layers, change the color, and we change that to pink. But labels, the plugin or the extension, makes it a lot more efficient. So I'm gonna go up to window and then bring down here to labels and I like to have mine positioned on the left hand side just beside the uh, timeline and what I can do here is I can press F and it shows all of the active label colors so if you have notes as to what labels you're looking for this is going to be very easy to identify what is currently active within this composition and we can change everything to its default color by highlighting everything and then pressing X but what it now allows us to do is go in and start adding labels to items very quickly. And to do that, I'm gonna jump back into this composition for a moment. So I want to start grouping certain compositions together and labeling them so I can identify them quickly. So I've got these three, these represent the color block, uh, that for Devo blue, so I'm just gonna give that the blue color. Maybe these slides, let's make these a nice fuchsia pink. I wanna make sure the cameras are black. Uh, leave the grain maybe a brown color. And for these two lines, green. And let's just give the closing title a bit of a sand color. So now I have all of these individual labels presented on my timeline. So now if I tell my colleagues that um, all of the pink adjustment layers, they need further work, they know where to look for. But it's not just the timeline that makes this tool useful. It's keyframes and project panel properties too. So let's open this. I've got my cam. Uh, let's press U to bring up the keyframes. So I see from here that it's not giving me the look that I want to, and I need to pass this off to my colleague who is the camera expert for After Effects. So I might highlight these but instead of saying, okay, I want it at one, uh, one second and then it ends just before or just after two seconds, you know, it's, it's too much words. I can just highlight them, hold control, select yellow. And now those keyframes have been identified. I can do that over here, go to this, press red. And now we've got that. So when you're working in a team environment, this plugin, can really help you uh, make your timeline look a lot more efficient. And again, let's just go up to here and I can start giving labels to elements before they've even entered the uh, composition. So I've got that JPEG highlighted. Let's give that a purple and then bring this in. And now we've got this here and we can see that it's already been labeled before it's brought in to the timeline. So if we were to group this plugin and the declutter plugin together, we could really start to make some powerful organization um, before you even get going with your animating. 
All right, I've been Lewis with Fidevo and this has been one episode of our helpful scripts and extensions for After Effects. If you haven't watched the others, they will be dotted somewhere around the video, so be sure to check them out.